क्रिकेट वेबसाइट वेबसाइट सेलेक्टेड ए क्रिकेट टीम कॉल चक दे क्रिकेट देन द कंडीशन फॉर द सेलेक्शन वेर द टीम हैज फाइव बैट्समैन वन विकेट कीपर फाइव बैट्समैन वन विकेट कीपर एंड वन ऑलराउंडर एंड फोर बॉलर्स एंड द पोजिशन वेर ऑल्सो क्लियरली गिवन वॉट आर द पोजिशन हेयर द बैट्समैन हैव टू प्ले ओनली एट द पोजिशन नंबर्स वन टू फाइव द विकेट कीपर एंड द ऑलराउंडर प्लेस एट सिक्स एंड सेवन इन एनी ऑर्डर and the bowlers played position numbers 8 to 11 isn't it the first five positions are for the batsman followed by wicket keeper and the all rounder in any order and finally four bowlers then 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 hence in total we are having some 11 persons once the voting was comprising place of 6 months <coughs> and some of the points that were noted were india and england were the only countries that had one player each now india is having only one player and from england also we are having only one player among these 11 and west indies had three players in the team which was the most for any country that means the remaining countries cannot have three members it should be lesser than three and next one one from south africa played position number 6 now here now who is playing it Position number six one, and this person is from South Africa, and this one must be, one must be either an all rounder or a wicket keeper, because the first five positions are what first five positions are for batsmen, and six and seven could be either all rounder or wicket keeper in any order. Hence, as this one is playing at position number six, this person could be either a wicket keeper or an all rounder, and in terms of positions, Gavaskar immediately succeeded Akram. Now this Gavaskar is immediately succeeding Akram and immediately preceded Broadman, isn't it? Hence these three persons must all, always be together. Who are those three? Gavaskar and and this Gavaskar should be immediately <coughs> Gavaskar immediately preceded Akram, Akram and immediately preceded by whom? And immediately preceded Broadman. Hence these three persons must be together. Akram, Gavaskar and Broadman must be together, isn't it? Akram Gavaskar and Broadman must be together. Next one, Marshall did not play for England. Lara, who was from India, was the wicket keeper. Lara, who was from India, is the wicket keeper. Means that person must play at position number seven. As this person is a wicket keeper, then what about this one? One is the all rounder. Done with this. Now we have fixed these two. And Lara, who was from India, was the wicket keeper, and immediately preceded Tendulkar. Now this person is immediately preceded Tendulkar, hence Tendulkar must play at position number eight, and is a bowler in the playing order. Sobers and Magrath were from Pakistan, and they played at position second and tenth. Now who are the persons here? Second, who is that person here? Sobers, and this Sobers is from which country? Pakistan, and another person is also from Pakistan, and who is that person? Magrath. Now this Magrath is playing at position number ten. Now this person is from Pakistan. Now sir, then. Akram, Gavaskar, and Broadman. What is the only possibility we have here? Three, four, and five. Hence, Akram must be at the third place, third position, and fourth position is Gavaskar, and the fifth position is the Broadman. Clear now? Now these persons were fixed. <coughs> Then, Sobers and Magrath were from Pakistan, and they played at position number second and tenth respectively. The bowler who played at position number nine was from England. Now the person. Ninth position is England. Then Marshall did not play for England, and so Marshall cannot be at ninth position. Hence, Marshall can be either at the first place or at the eleventh place, isn't it? Then Hayden and Akram played for the same country. Hayden and Akram played for the same country, which was not Australia. And exactly one player be played between them, between Akram and Hayden. There must be exactly one person. As Akram is at the third place, Hayden must be at the first place. As Hayden is at the first place, and this Marshall cannot be at the ninth place, then whatever this Marshall here, Marshall must be at eleventh position. And Hayden and Akram played for the same country, which was not Australia, and exactly one player between. Now, sir, tell me what are the countries of this one, Hayden and Akram? Now, this Hayden cannot be from Pakistan because Pakistan there are two places, and this Hayden and Akram cannot be from Australia. That is clearly specified. 
now these two persons cannot be from Australia, cannot be from Pakistan and cannot be from South Africa. Why? Because one person is already from South Africa. If these two persons were also from South Africa, then we will have three person, three players from South Africa, which is not possible because only West Indies should have the maximum three players. Isn't it? Hence, these two persons neither belongs to England nor to India because from England, India, we are having only one person. And this Hayden and Akram must belong to which country? Must belong to West Indies. Isn't it? Now, these two persons belongs to West Indies. Then, any other information here? Then who is the person left over here? Hayden, Sober, Sakram, Gavaskar and so on. Then the person who is left over is Gilchrist. And Gilchrist is the person left over. Now India and England were the only countries that had one player is. England is there. India is also completed. And West Indies had three players in the team which has the most for any country. West Indies three players. Next one. And one from South Africa played six, position number six. Now, as of now, we are having two players from West Indies. And what about this one? The bowler who played at ninth position was from England. And Marshall did not play for England. Hence, this Marshall must be playing at which place? 11th place. Now, we need to find out the countries here. And three players. One from South Africa. In terms of position, Gavaskar immediately preceded and so on. Marshall did not play for England. And Marshall did not play for England. Lara, who was from India, was the wicket keeper and immediately preceded Tendulkar in the playing order. Sobers and Magrath were from Pakistan. Sobers and Magrath are from Pakistan and they played at positions second and tenth respectively. And next one, the bowler who played at position number ninth was an England player. Hayden and Akram played for the same country which was not Australia. Hence, these two persons played for the same country which was and exactly one player between them. And two of the batsmen were Australian. As two batsmen are Australian in the first five positions, we should have, isn't it? Australian. Two Australian people are there. Who are those two? And those two persons must be Gavaskar and Broadman. And Gilchrist is one of the bowlers. And Tendulkar did not play for West Indies. As Tendulkar did not play for West Indies, then who must play for West Indies here? Marshall. If this person plays for West Indies, then whatever this Tendulkar, Tendulkar must play for South Africa. Why it is for South Africa? Because now, England is having only one person, India is having only one person, and West Indies should have three persons, that is the only country which is having three persons, and the remaining countries should have only two, two players. Pakistan is having two players, and South Africa is having two players, and again, Australia is having two players. Done with this? Now, this is the order. Then, question number 31, for which country did Tendulkar play? As Tendulkar played to which country? South Africa, that is choice one. Then, question number 32. At which position did Gavaskar play? As yes, Gavaskar played at fourth position. Position number four, that is choice three. Then question number 33. Who immediately followed Akram in the batting order? Immediately followed by Akram, who is that person? Gavaskar, that is choice five. Then question number 34. How many players play between? Played between Sobers and one. Between Sobers and one, how many players are there? One played at position number six. Sobers played at play, position number two. Then how many players are in between these two? Three persons, Akram, Gavaskar and Broadman. That is choice three. Then question number 35. And who among the following is the first bowler? Who is the first bowler here? Bowler starting from where? Bowler starting from 8 to 11. Hence, eighth one. Tendulkar is the first bowler. That is choice two. Now this is about question number 31 to 35. <coughs> Done with this 31 to 35. Has completed writing this one? Then let us discuss 36 to 40. Because in this paper, most of the questions are puzzles. And at the most, we are having only one hour to discuss this one. Hence, we are moving fast. And then question numbers 36 onwards. Now, in this question numbers 36 to 39, 36 to 40. Now, 36 to 40, what is the information here in a class? In a class, how many persons are there? Five persons, A, B, C, D, and E are the top five rankers in that class. Now, top five rankers in the class, A, B, C, D, and E. You know how many different subjects are top five rankers? Now, one, first ranker, second ranker, third, fourth, and the fifth ranker. Five rankers are there. Now, these five rankers, not necessarily in a class, in three different subjects. What are the three different subjects here? Telugu is one. Next one is English. Telugu, English, and Hindi. Now, these five persons, who are the five persons here? A, B, C, D, and E are the five top rankers in these three subjects 
in a class. First ranker, second ranker, third ranker, fourth ranker, and the fifth ranker. Then, then, no two students got the same rank in any subject. That means all these five persons got different ranks in each subject. And no student got the same rank in a subject, and no student got the same rank in any two subjects. Isn't it? That means along the vertical or along the horizontal, these persons must always be different. None of the person is repeating. And further, it is given that in English, A got better rank than C. In English, A got better rank than whom? Better rank than C. Now, the word immediate is not given between A and C. There could be some persons, but whereas A is always ahead of C in English. Then, in English, A got better rank than C. I have taken this information. Neither B nor E get the first rank in any subject. As neither B nor E got the first rank in any subject, then tell me first rank got by how many persons? Three persons. As B and E cannot be here, then who was the other person that got the first rank? Either A, C or D got the first rank. Isn't it? Then, neither B nor E got the first rank in any subject. E got better rank in Telugu than D in English. E's rank in Telugu is better than, that is greater than D in English. Isn't it? Now we are representing the data like this. E got better rank than D in English. That means if E, if D gets the second rank in English, then E must get the first rank in Telugu. Or if D gets third rank in English, then E must get either the first or the second, isn't it? And so on. And E got better rank than, than rank in Telugu than D in English. The student who got second rank in Telugu. Now let us take, we do not know who that person is, but whereas now I am assuming that person is X. If the person who got second rank in Telugu got fourth rank in Hindi, the same person got the fourth rank in Hindi and the third rank in English. Whoever the person got the second rank in Telugu, the same person got the fourth rank in Hindi and the same person got the third rank in English. If A got second rank in Telugu, then that A gets third rank in English and fourth rank in Hindi. Or if B gets second rank in Telugu, then that B gets third rank in English and fourth rank in Hindi as well, isn't it? And so on. Then, and in each subject, B always got worse rank than D. In each subject, B always got worse rank, worse rank than whom? D. Hence, B must always be lesser than this one. Then by this one, what can we infer here? What can we infer? Can D be at the last place, fifth place? No. Why? If D is at the last place, then there is no place for this B at all. Because this B should always get lesser than this one which implies that D cannot be at the last place. In each subject, B always got worse rank than D. C got better rank than D in Hindi. C got better rank than whom? Better rank than D in Hindi. Clear? This is what the information we have. Now we need to finalize the persons and who got the first rank in which subject and so on. Isn't it? Now, now tell me who are the persons that can be at the first rank here? Either A, C or D. Isn't it? Now, as either A, C or D should get the first rank in these subjects, now can X be A, C and D or not? Tell me. Are you catching this one or not? First rank, man, kya A raawali, C raawali, lakh bade D raawali. If you put second rank, X A de to undo, X A, C, D abba chaan chadiga. Why it is no? Because if X is A, isn't it? Then this A, C and D must be where? must be the first ranker. Now, now forget it. If A is at this place, let us take for example, one example. A is here, C is here or D is here. If A at this place, then what happens here? X cannot be A. Or if C is at this place and X cannot be C. Or if D is at this place, X cannot be this D. Isn't it? That means this X must be either A or C or D gets the first ranker. Hence, this X is getting the second rank, third rank and the fourth rank and this A, C and D cannot get, okay, cannot be this X, isn't it? And this X, A, C, D cannot be X. Then who are the remaining persons left over here? Either B or E. Either B or E is the second ranker in Telugu. Now, if you take B is the second ranker. Now, this is just an example. If B gets the second rank here, then B gets the third rank here then B gets the fourth rank in Hindi, isn't it? Now, if B is at this place, then whatever this E here, D, whatever this D, now coming to English, 
Now in English, B is coming at the, which place? B is coming at the third place. If B is at the third place, now this D should always get better rank than B. As this D should always get better rank than D, D can be either the first or the second rank in English. Now if this D gets second rank in English, then what about E? E must get which rank? E must get the first rank in Telugu. If D gets second rank in English, then E must get the first rank in Telugu. As E gets first rank in Telugu, is it possible here? It is not at all possible. Which implies that this B cannot be the second ranker in Telugu. Are you following this one or not? Now this is the information what we have used here. Then, as B cannot be at this place, tell me who must be at this place? The only person who is left over is E. Now if E is at this place, E is here, E got the second rank in Telugu, and got third rank in English, and got the fourth rank in Hindi. Isn't it? Now E here is finalist. As E is finalized here, E at this place, and E at this place is done. Then, what is the other information here? Now, between A, C, and D. Now, A, C, and D, now the C always got better rank, isn't it? As C always got, C got better rank than D in Hindi, now in this one. In this one, A, C, D, if you take at this place, A, C, D, can D be at this place? As tell me whether D can be at this place or not. No. Why D cannot be at this place here? Because this C got better rank. Can A be at this place? As tell me whether A can be at this place or not. Now A or C. Now in this A or C, as E is already here. Now if you check out this case E, E is at this place. Now this C and D must be no. As E is here, E in Telugu is done. Now E at this place, E at this place. Then what is the other information we have? A, C and D must be at this place. Then A, C and D. Then C cannot be at this place. Isn't it? Because A should get better rank this one. As C cannot be at this place, tell me who can be at this place. A must be at this place. Why it is A? Because A got better rank than C. A is here. If A is at this place, then whatever this one, C. Where should this C? Now here C got better rank, this must be C. If this is C, then who is the person left over here? This person must be D. Isn't it? As C is here, A and E were in these two places. Now I am discussing about this English. A and E were in these two places. Then, now again. Or else, one more thing if you take for example. In Kokasar children. Now there is a small confusion. This is the first ranker, isn't it? Now first rank, we have gone with an assumption. Now the first rank, E in Telugu got better rank than D in English. Now what is the rank of this one here? D in English. Now this D, now E cannot get, now D cannot get the fifth ranker, isn't it? As D cannot get the fifth ranker here, then can D be the second ranker here in English? No. Can D be here? D cannot be here. Because if D is here, then E must get first rank in Telugu, which is not possible. Because E is already here. As D cannot be here, D cannot be here in these two places. Then, whatever this D, D cannot be at this place as well. Then what is the only place left for this D? D must be at this place. Clear now? If D is here, what is the rank of this D? D English got fourth ranker. Hence, E Telugu got third ranker. As D is here, D cannot be at this place. Here in this one, C is above this D, D cannot be at this place. D cannot be first in English, D cannot be first in Hindi. Hence, D must be first in Telugu. Are you following this one or not? Now D and E were done. As D and E were done, now we are left with A and C. Now here C cannot get the first rank in English. As C cannot get the first rank in English, hence A gets the first rank in English. If A gets the first rank in English, then C gets the first rank in Hindi. Clear now? Now as of now we have finalized this D, A, C the first ranker and so on. Then coming to this one, A got better rank than C. As A got better rank than C, then A is here. Then what is the position of this C, tell me. Can C be at the last place or not? No. Why it is no? 
because now sir this d b always got b always got worse rank than d as d got the fourth rank here in english and this b must get fifth rank in english if b gets here then who is the person after here c is the person after hence a c e d b that is finalist then coming to this d then now where can this d be in hindi now d in hindi can d be here as tell me what is the position of this d now can d be at this place or not d cannot be at the fifth place in hindi d can be either at the second place or at the third place now tell me whether d can be at this place or not chapandi why it is no because if d is here b must be below this one then b must be here if b comes here b is getting fifth rank in two of the subjects which is not possible hence b cannot be at this place which implies that d cannot be at the third place are you following this one or not now this is like sudoku type of question isn't it as d cannot be at the third place hence d must be at which place d must be at the second place if d is here then whatever this one b must be here c d b e done now we are left with a now now coming to telugu now d and e were completed now we are left with a b and c out of which here at the fifth place a and b cannot be here hence who must be here c must be here if c is here now we are left with a and b b cannot get the third rank because b is already getting third rank in hindi hence b must get fourth rank in telugu if b is the fourth rank in telugu then who is the person left over a got third rank in telugu clear now now if you observe here none of the persons along the row wise or column wise are repeating done with this and say again after going to your home please work out this one at least two to three times on your own without seeing the solution then only you can able to fill these arrangements as done with this now question numbers 36 to 40 yes sir explain the questions are not required 36 to 40 then write down this arrangement first 36 to 40 then 41 to 45 now in this 41 to 45 now it is based on circular arrangement inward and outward and at the same time and at the same time family blood relation is also clearly given now question numbers 41 to 45 now in this 41 to 45 what is the information here eight members of a family s t u v w x y and z isn't it are seated around a circular table some of them are facing inside while some of them are facing outside and the couples are facing inside while the singles are facing outside unmarried persons are facing outside and the persons who got married are facing inside and v is the daughter of x as v is the daughter of x tell me x got married or not x got married and v is the daughter of x can be written like this v is the daughter of x x is seated second to the right of her husband x is seated second to the right of her husband means x is male or female x is female and this x is having a male x is having a husband that person is a male v is the daughter of x x is seated second to the right of her husband isn't it then y is seated opposite to his father now this y is having a father now this y is having a father and facing outside as yes, what can you infer from this one as y is facing outside that means this y is unmarried because this person is single singles are facing away from the center and t is the sister in law of both s and v as t is the sister in law of two persons s and v as yes, what can infer from this one this is the crucial point in this as t is the sister in law of both these two persons s and v and this s and v are siblings to each other isn't it and this t is the wife of s and v's brother isn't it s and v's brother is there that brother's wife is t and this t is the sister in law of these two persons s and v clear hence 
S is one and V is other and one more sibling that is brother is there. Now this person's wife is T. Are you getting this one or not? T is the sister-in-law of both S and V. S and V's brother's wife is T. T is the sister-in-law of both S and V. And also she is not the immediate neighbor of either S or V. And this T is not the immediate neighbor of S or V. Now I am like X representing like this. T is not the neighbor of S and V. Next one. W is seated between X and T. W is seated between X and T. And it is the only group of three females seated together. Isn't it? That means these three persons. Who are those three persons? W is a female. T is a female. X is also a female. Three females. W, X and T are the three females and all these three females are seated together. And it is the only group of three females seated together. Isn't it? Next one. S is facing his mother. S is facing his mother means what is the gender of this S? S is a male. S is facing his mother. As this S is facing his mother, this S is facing inside. As S is facing inside, S is? S is married. Because only the married persons are facing inside. As S is married, now this S is a male. Now this S should have wife that is a female. Isn't it? S is facing his mother. Facing his mother means his mother got married, isn't it? Hence mother is facing the center, S is also facing the center, isn't it? And T is facing her father-in-law Z. Who is the father-in-law of Z? Who is the father-in-law of T? Z is the father-in-law. And T is facing her father-in-law Z. Now this is what the information we have, isn't it? V is the only daughter in the family. As V is the only daughter in the family and is seated second to the right of her nephew. V is having a nephew. As V is having a nephew, then who is that person? That person is none other than Y. Why it was so? Because this Y is unmarried. And as of now, we are having three couples. And V is also unmarried. And Y is also unmarried. Clear now? No. Now coming to this circular arrangement. Now eight persons, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now what is the first information here? V is the daughter of X. V is the daughter of X, he is seated second to the right of her husband. Who is the husband of X? Who is the husband of X? Z. Now Z is here. If you fix Z at this place, Z is a male. Z is facing the center. And whatever this one, V is seated second to the right of her husband. V is seated second. And X is seated second to the right of her husband. X is seated second to the right of her husband. X must be here. As X is married, now this X is facing towards the center. Isn't it? Then coming to this one, W, X and T. Y is seated opposite to his father and facing outside. And T is the sister-in-law of both S and V. And also she is not the immediate neighbor of S or V. W is seated between X and T. And W, X and T, all these three persons are females. W is seated between X and T. And it is only group of three females. Now it's here. As X is already here, tell me whether W can be at this place or not. If W is here, Z and T must be in the same place, which is not possible, hence W cannot be here. As W cannot be here, tell me what is the only possible here? W, a female, and T, W, X and T. T is again a female. Hence, these are the only group, three females seated together. W, X and T. And this W is neither adjacent to SRV, that information is not at all required. Why? Because W is in between T and X. Done with this? Now, these four persons were fixed now. And S is facing his mother. As S is facing his mother, X is here. S is facing his mother, S is a male. Now this person is all, is facing towards the center. He is facing towards the center. Then what is the other information here? Now, regarding this one, V is the only daughter in the family and is seated opposite to her, opposite to the right of her nephew. Who is the nephew of this V? Y. Y is the nephew of this V. Now this V and Y are unmarried. Hence these persons must be facing away from the center, isn't it? Are you following this one or not? Hence Y can be either at this place or at this place. Or at this place. Can Y be here at this place? I am talking about this place. Y cannot be at this place. Why? Because if Y is here and V sits second to the right of Y is not possible. Then V and W must be in the same place. Are you catching this one or not? Now I am finalizing the position of whom? Position of Y. Y cannot be here. Now can Y be at this place in between S and Z? If Y is, this Y is facing away from the center. 
if y is facing away from the center then v sits a second to the right of v v must be here now tell me whether we can be here or not yes whether we can be here or not no why is no because there are only three females seated together v is again a female these four females cannot be seated together as v cannot be here y cannot be here are you following this one or not then where should this y y must be in between z and x y is in between z and x and this y is facing away from the center y is the nephew means y is a male and this v is seated second to the right of second to the right of whom second to the right of her nephew hence where should this v v must be here if v is here then who is the person left over tell me here u is the person left over u is the person left over isn't it as u is the person left over and u is what u is a male u is the person left over now we need to find out whether this y is the son of t or the son of s because nephew means if y is here or here in both the cases y is the nephew of v only isn't it then how to find like this one there is an information regarding this y y is seated opposite to his father as y is seated opposite to his father y and you are opposite to each other as y and you are opposite to each other tell me whether you can be at this place whether you can be married to s or not no why it is no because s is a male and again u is a male hence these two males cannot be married to each other hence you cannot be here as you cannot be here then where should this u u must be here as u is the husband of t u is the husband of t then u is the father of whom u is the father of y and y must be at this place only then who is the person left over finally w is the person left over and who is this w W is the wife of S. W is the wife of. S. Done with this. Now this is circular arrangement, blood relation, and inward and outward. Let's write down this arrangement: forty-one to forty-five. as u faces the center because u is married facing towards the center now this is about question numbers 41 to 45 as then 46 to 50 coding and decoding done with this 46 to 50 okay try one either one attempt now question numbers 46 to 50 in general these type of questions will be given in PO tied to or clerical tied to model. Okay, wherein some symbols and letters and numbers will be given. Okay, without having any word common between these two. Earlier in the earlier papers we have discussed about some words are common. Words and the codes will be common, but whereas here all these words and the statements are words and the codes are completely different to each other. Now now the words are repeated in this one. Way back in 2016. 2016 IBPS PO tied to model. That was the first instance where he has given this model. 2016 IBPS PO tied to. Not even at least a single word which is come. As completed writing this one, then let us start working on this. As question numbers 46 to 50. How many of you have completed this 46 to 50? Now, sir, if you observe here in this one, then now how many symbols are there? How many symbols? There are only four symbols. What are those four symbols? Tell me. One is dollar. Next one, percentage. N star. And next one, N. These are the only four symbols we have. How many different types of words are there? Different types of words means based on the number of letters. Now, sir, there are three letter words, four letter words, five letter words, six letter words. Isn't it? There is no two-letter word and not more than six-letter word. Hence, we are having only three, four, five, six number of letters. Hence, these number of letters are assigned to these symbols, isn't it? Four symbols are there. Four different types of words are there. Hence, these four symbols are assigned to those. Then, how to identify this one? Now, in the first statement, if you observe here, 
class is the word which is repeated twice now this class is having class and daily now class is having five letters daily is also having five letters each of these word is having five five letters then tell me which symbol is repeated here yeah. dollar hence what can you infer from this one for a five letter word its code is dollar isn't it five letter code code is dollar then coming to this one coming to statement 3 fire and errorless now in this one which word is repeated here fire and less that means four letter word is repeated twice as which statement is common in this one percentage is common hence four letter word now the symbol is percentage four letter word it is percentage done with this then after this four letter word is what is the symbol here percentage percentage done hence dollar completed percentage dollar then what is left over here six letter word and six letter word what is the symbol here star now this is a six letter word and what is the symbol star four five six were done now we are left with three letter word three letter word is n done with this now again coming back to this one now in this word attend now in this word attend as yes, what is the code to this one attend now six letter word six letter mean, means star hence 24 star and 3 is the code given to this one isn't it 24 3 again if you observe here the words and the codes are not in a specific order attend is at the first place and its code is given at the fourth place rather than at the first place again we should rearrange them okay then now in this one what is the value of a 1 and what is the number here 3 how do you get 3 with the help of 1 plus 2 now to the first letter to each of these word two letter two numbers is added and it is given as the last one now similarly class what is the value of c 3 3 plus 2 is how much 5 hence where is this 5 5 is here hence the code to the word class is as tell me what is the code to the word class class is 9 dollar 5 are you following this one or not c is 3 3 plus 2 is 5 and again daily d is 4 4 plus 2 is 6 now this is 3 dollar 6 sir ben 3 dollar 6 and finally what is there here good good four letter uh, what is the value of this 7 7 plus 2 is 9 that will be for 24 percentage 9 done with this now we have finalized the last number as well now we need to find out the first number what is the first number here how are we getting the first number what is the value of d yes what is the value of d the value of d in the reverse order what is the value of d in the reverse order what is the value of what is the opposite letter to d w what is the value of w 23 now 23 plus 1 is 24 last letters opposite letter plus 1 is the number given now we again coming to s yes. what is the opposite letter to s yes? yes how to identify this opposite letter opposite letter is nothing but sum of the place values of two letters must be equals to 27 Now here the value of d is how much? D is four. Four plus how much is twenty-seven? Twenty-three. Twenty-third letter is w. Hence d and w are opposite to each other, isn't it? Again, coming to s. What is the value of s? Nineteen. Nineteen plus how much is twenty-seven? Eight. Eighth letter is h. Now eight plus one is how much? Nine. Are you getting the answer or not? Hence how are we getting the first number here? First number is nothing but last letters opposite letters plus one. and how are you getting the last number first letters value plus 2 is the last number clear now this is how you are supposed to work out 46 to 50 for most of the students it seems to be different model because most of you people are new students then 46 to 50 then 51 to 55 Order. Then, tell me. Answer, Japan. Yes. What is the code for grapes? Very one fruit. Grapes, very one fruit. Grapes. Yes. Tell me what is the value of these grapes? How many letters do we have? Six. Six means what is the symbol? Symbol must be star. Symbol is star. And what is the value of G? G is seven. Seven ends. What should What should we do here? Plus two. Nine. Yes. What is the value of S? Opposite letter to S is H. Eight, H is eight. Eight plus one nine. Hence nine star nine. We should have. 
Yes, where, where are we having this 9 star 9? Choice 1 is ruled out. Now choice 2 there is 9 star 9. Here also 9 star 9. And all the remaining 4 choices we are having 9 star 9. Then coming to this very. Now in this very 4 letter word. 4 letter word means percentage. Now what is the value of V? 22. 22 plus how much? 24. And Y is what? What is the opposite letter to Y? B. Isn't it? B's value is 2. 2 plus 1 is how much? 3 percentage 24. Now we should have 3 percentage 24. In choice 2 we have 3 percentage 24. Choice 3. And choice 4 is ruled out because we are not having 3 percentage 24. And in this one. Now we are left with 2, 3 and 5 choices. Then 1. What is the value of 1 here? 1, 3. Hence it must be end. What is the value of O? 15. 15 plus 2 is 17. And E is? E is opposite letter is V. V value 22. 22 plus 1, 23. Hence 23 and 17. 23 and 17. Choice 2 is ruled out. Isn't it? Next one. Choice 3, 23 and 17. Choice 5, there is no 23 and 17. And so what is your answer here? Choice 3 is the answer. Rather than finding out the code for the entire thing and again give, checking out the choices, this is how to eliminate the choices. Clear? Because you will definitely have 5 questions. And in these 5 questions, you can at least save 1 or 2 minutes by doing so. Clear? Chasta Rega? Then, question numbers 51 to 55. Now, question numbers 51 to 55. Yes, tell me what is the answer here. Now question numbers 51 to 55 is based on floor arrangement. Eight friends A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H living on in a nine floor apartment where the floors are numbered from one to nine from ground to top and each of them plays a different game among carom, hockey, cricket and so on, isn't it? And each floor has one flat and one of the flats in the building is vacant. Nine floors are there. Among these nine floors, there are only eight persons are staying. One of the flat remained vacant. Isn't it? And now we need to find out who are the persons staying on which, flat, which floor and, and what the games they are playing. Clear now? Then, as floor arrangement given, now we should fix the floors like this. At the center, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Isn't it? Now this is what? The arrangement. Now in this 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, whenever a floor arrangement is given, always fix the floor at the center and extend the lines like this. By doing so, we can simultaneously work out two possibilities. If at all, if it is there is a second possibility. Done with this? Then, no. The person who play hockey, is the only person who lives between G and A. Yes, between G and A, who is that person? G, R, A and a hockey and G, R, A. Isn't it? G, R, A is a G because between G and A, who is staying above whom is not clearly given. If G is staying above this one, G, hockey, A, R, A, hockey and G. Isn't it? There are two possibilities. Only one person who play hockey is the only one person who is between G and A. Only one person between, only one person who, between whom? Only one person is staying between A and B. As only one person is staying between A and B, if A is here, then B will be here. Or if A is here, B is here. Because there is only one person is staying between A and B. And H plays what? H plays badminton. H plays badminton. F lives immediately below the vacant floor. Whatever this F, F is living immediately below the vacant floor. If vacant floor is here, then F is immediately below the vacant floor. And one of the two people live between G and H plays chess. Between G and H, how many persons are there? There are two persons between G and H. As there are two persons between G and H, now can we go for these possibilities here? Now I am taking this G. If G is here, G and the person who is playing hockey, and the next one, A. That is one possibility. Then what is the other possibility here? A, the one who plays hockey, and G. Isn't it? Then, between A and B, how many persons are there? Between A and B, there must be exactly one person. As there must be exactly one person here, 
here b must be below this a isn't it here b must be above this a are you following this one or not because between a and b there must be exactly one person and one person is here then h plays badminton one of the two people live between g and h plays chess now between g and h tell me how many persons are there there are exactly two persons between g and h as two persons between g and h 1 2 h if you take 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 floors were there at a stretch isn't it and again and there must be a vacant floor as well hence and one of the two people who live between g and h plays chess between g and h there must be one people who is playing chess then b lives on the floor immediately below h now b is immediately below h as b is immediately below h now sir h cannot be below this g are you following this one or not because b is immediately b lives on the floor immediately below h as b is immediately below h as g is here between g and h how many persons do we have between g and h two persons as g and h two persons as listen this very very careful now if you take h at this place then b lives immediately below h b must be here which is not possible because b must be away from this isn't it hence which implies that h is not below this g if h is not below this g then h can be above this g or not if h is above this g h must be here because in between g and h hockey and a are there and this person must be h if h is here then again b lives on the floor immediately below h but is here b is immediately above h this case is completely ruled out done with this as this case is ruled out why am i taking this one earlier while explaining okay these type of questions we used to fix in the floor arrangement here we are not fixing this one because there is no definite information given is there any definite information here definite information means d d stays on third floor or e lives on fifth floor that information is not there as it is not given hence i am taking separately and i am trying to formulate a thing then i will adjust the entire stretch at this one isn't it then in this one now what is left over here b is at this place as b is here this b is immediately below this h hence where should this h h must be here are you following this one or not finally i got that g hockey a h and b and again one person between a and b and one person between g and hockey g and a and at the same time and b is immediately below this one clear now only one person lives between b and a we have taken this information and h plays badminton h plays badminton as a h plays badminton h plays badminton here now h is exactly in between a and b now this h is playing what h plays badminton hence badminton must be here h plays badminton f lives immediately below the vacant floor now f is living immediately below the vacant floor now we need to finalize this vacant floor f is immediately below the vacant floor if vacant floor is here and f is immediately below the vacant floor one of the two people live between g and h plays chess one of the people between g and h plays chess or the persons between g g and h a and the person who plays hockey and so who is playing hockey here as chess who is playing chess here a is playing chess and one of the two people who live between g and h plays chess b lives on the floor immediately below h we have taken this one and the person who lives immediately above the vacant floor plays ludo now above the vacant floor is ludo and below the vacant floor there must be f d lives on an odd number floor immediately below f now d is on an odd number floor immediately below f d is here d is on an odd number floor immediately below f as d is on an odd number floor immediately below f tell me what about this vacant floor vacant floor must be odd or even odd again because these two are alternate places vacant floor must be on the odd number floor and d lives on an odd number floor immediately above f the person who plays cricket cricket stays on an even number floor and the person who plays basketball lives immediately above d immediately above d who is that person here f now this f is playing basketball 
G lives on an even number floor immediately above C. Now this G is immediately above C, then whatever this C, C plays hockey. Now C is playing hockey. Now this G is living on an even number floor immediately above C, isn't it? Now G even number let us take. Can G be on the second floor? Isn't it? Cannot be because be below this G there are at least four. Isn't it? Can we start from the top? Now G cannot be on the ninth floor because ninth floor is an odd number floor. Now G at this place that is one possibility. Isn't it? If G is here then C will be here. If C is here then A will be here. If A is here then H will be here. If H is here then B will be here. If B is here then where can this vacant floor? Vacant floor cannot be at the ninth floor. Isn't it? Because above this vacant floor there must be the person who is playing. And below this vacant floor there must be at least two persons. As there are two persons below this vacant floor, where should this vacant floor? 8, 7, 6, 5, 4 cannot be the vacant floor. Then which is the vacant floor here? Vacant floor must be the third one. If the vacant floor is the third one, then who are the remaining persons? F and D. If F and D are here, then who is the person left over? A, B, C, D. E is the person left over. Hence, E must be on the top floor. Isn't it? Then, immediately above the vacant floor, who is that person? The person who is playing Ludo. B is playing Ludo. And immediately below this one, this person F is playing what? Basketball. And D is in an odd number floor. Then coming to this one, G. And C is playing which game? Hockey. C is playing hockey. And A is playing chess. A is playing chess. And H is playing badminton. H is playing badminton. Then, now the person who plays cricket is playing living on an even number floor. Even number 2, 4, 6 were ruled out. And this G must play cricket. And that is the only even floor left over. Then, G lives on an even number floor immediately above C. The person who plays caroms lives on an odd number floor above fourth floor. Above fourth floor, caroms, odd number floor. What is left over here? Ninth floor. Now, ninth floor is caroms. Then what is left over here? Football. Then who is the person playing football here? D is the person playing football. Done? Now here we have arranged this one, then we have adjusted the data there itself. In most of the questions, we will fix the information in the floors. But as now we have done in a separate manner because no specific information or definite information given. Whenever there is no definite information, now we need to check out like this. And again, if you observe here in all these puzzles, we have read the information only once rather than keep on reading for four to five times. So, initial Jadukun and Japan, okay, sir, Jadukal, a pure data. Data in a even younger represent just call. Then, now this is about question numbers 56 to 51 to 55. Yes, write down this. Yes, complete it. Again, after going to your home, work out this one for at least two to three times on your own. This entire paper is for reminder, isn't it? Whenever there is a gap, okay? Please work out this paper after every 10 days or 15 days. Then, 51. Yes, 51 to 55 done. Then, question numbers 56 to 60. Now, in this 50, 60, 60, earlier we had discussed this one n number of times, isn't it? Now, question numbers 56 to 60. Yes, uh, how many of you had on this one 56 to 60? Now, first let us discuss this one 61 to 65 is there, isn't it? First 61 to 65, very easier one. That is a small puzzle. First let us write down this one. Now, how many persons are there? Now, in total, we are having some 8 percent. There is a small typing mistake in this one. H, is all, H must be there, isn't it? 8 persons are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And all these persons are facing the center, but not necessarily in the same order. T is south to the right of H. As H now, I am fixing H at this place because all the persons are facing the center. T sits out to the right of H, T will be here. T sits out to the right of H. And L is 4 to the left of P, P is on the immediate right of H. 
as P is on the immediate right of H, P must be here. And L is fourth to the left of P. Among these eight, eight persons, fourth left or fourth right is nothing but these two persons must be opposite to each other. L is fourth to the right of P. And P is on the immediate right of H. Y is fourth to the right of B. As Y is fourth to the right of B, this Y and B are opposite to each other. And B is not an immediate neighbor of T. As B cannot be here, B is here. Then Y is here. This is the only possibility left over. Then who are the persons left over? H, K, L, Y, H, K, L, Y, then B, J, T. And if K is here, J will be here. Or if K is here, J will be here. No information given about these two persons that will be left as it is. Then, and this is about question number 61 to 65. Who is seated second to the left of L? Second to the left of L is T. L that is given, T that is given in choice 1. Then question number 62. What is L's position with respect to P? L's position with respect to P, 1, 2, 3, 4. L and P are opposite to each other, either fourth left or fourth right, that is choice 1, fourth right. Then question number 63, who is fourth to the right of T? Fourth to the right of T is nothing but opposite. Who is a person opposite to T? Either K or J, hence the answer is cannot be determined, cannot say. Choice 5. Then question number 64, who is seated second to the right of H? Second to the right of H is Y. Y that is given in choice 2. Then question number 65, and who is on the immediate right of B? Immediate right of B again, either K or J cannot say that is choice 5. Clear? In two of the questions you are getting, cannot be determined because the positions of two persons cannot be finalized. Done? Now this is about question number 61 to 65. Then 56 to 60. Yes, 56 to 60. Yes, so how many of you have written tomorrow's examination, tomorrow explanation, today's paper? You are silent ending? Online paper. Done? Allow on the paper. How is that paper? Easy or difficult? Easy. Regular model. Regular pattern, right? Then, now question numbers 56 to 60. I will just give a clue. Okay? I will leave this one to homework. Tomorrow I will explain that one. Because as that tomorrow's paper is easy, it will not take that much. Okay, I will complete that one in 35 or 40 minutes, then I will start working on this. Because it itself will take around some 20 minutes, the other faculty is waiting outside. Okay? Now, I will just give the clue regarding this one. Now, question numbers 56 to 60. Now, in this 56 to 60, now how many persons are there? 10 persons are seated in how many rows? 12 rows. 1, 12, 4, for 2 rows. Now, in each row, how many persons are there? 6, 6 persons are there. 10 persons are seated in 12 seats in 2 parallel rows containing 5 people each. Each row is having only 5, 5 persons. In such a way that there is an equal distance between adjacent persons. In row 1, V, W, X, Y, Z and all of them are facing north. Now this is row 1. Who are the persons in this one? V, W, X, Y and Z. V to Z are the 5 persons. And in row 2, who are the persons in row 2? Q, R, S, T, U are the 5 persons in row 2. And in each row, exactly one seat is vacant and one seat is vacant in each row. In the given seating arrangement, each member is seated in a row facing another member. This person is facing this person, isn't it? Simultaneously, these persons are facing towards each other. And each one of them likes a different food item. One of the parameters is given. Different food items were given, isn't it? Next one. And two persons seated between R and U. Now, sir, R and U, where can we fix this R and U here? R and U must be in the row which is facing towards south. Isn't it? R and U must be in the row which is facing towards south. How many persons in between R and U? There are two persons. And neither R nor U sit adjacent to a vacant seat which is not at any end. Vacant seat is not at any end. And this R and U are not seated adjacent to any vacant seat. R and U majro idrundali. Mali yamotun. This vacant seat and the chivar law ledu, R and U pakkan koda ledu anna. Clear? Then coming to this one. Now can R be at this place or not? Just an assumption. If R is here, then tell me where should this U be? U ekanundal. Numbering each under 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. S, then where should this U be? U must be at the fourth place. If U is here, there are two persons between R and U. Then what happens here? Vacant seat cannot be at this place. Cannot be here because it cannot be adjacent to R and U. Cannot be here. And it cannot be here because it is 
it is what it is at an end hence neither or nor you can be at the first place are you following this one or not then now i am checking out whether this r and u can be at the second place or not if r or u is at this place the other person must be at this place isn't it two persons between r and u and again coming to this vacant seat vacant seat cannot be here cannot be here cannot be here cannot be here because it cannot be adjacent to r and u r and u cannot be at the first place cannot be at the second place 1 2 3 4 5 6 tell me whether r and u can be at the third place or not if r or u is at this place the other person must be at this place or r then vacant seat cannot be here cannot be here cannot be here this is also ruled and there is no possibility at all isn't it then what is the possibility we have chapan now now here he is talking about two persons rather than the seats if there are two seats in between r and u i can take like this but where two persons are there now again 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 if r or u is at this place 1 2 3 tell me r or u can be at this place or not there are three places in between i do agree but where there are only two persons staying in between this hence this is a vacant seat now here in between r and u there are two persons two persons in between r and u this vacant seat is not at any adjacent to r adjacent to u nor at any end hence these are ruled out vacant seat is at the center easy paper and most of you people cannot be seen tomorrow at all mean avaru ganipinchar and that is a very basic reason why i have left this one for homework i'll explain this one once again okay and we are running out of time tomorrow i will explain this one as yes. any doubts in that one number series number series questions please now question numbers 9600 yes please tell me the number please Out of this 9600, now question numbers 19, 96. Now in this 96, if you observe here, 13 and 10.6. Now 13 and 10.6, what should we do here? Now as one decimal is there, remove the decimal, isn't it? If you remove the decimal, the numbers are what 130 and 106, and next one is 154, isn't it? 154, and this one, this is 82, and the next one is 178. Then find out the next. as yes, what is the difference between 130 and 106 24 and plus 24 or minus 24 minus 24 106 and 54 plus 48 and next one 154 and 82 minus 72 next one is so much plus 96 as what are these numbers 24 into 1 24 into 2 24 into 3 24 into 4 next one 24 into 5 120 should be subtracted if you subtract 120 minus 178 what is the number here 58 as we have added remove this decimal put this decimal 5.8 choice to is the answer done with this now here the difference between these numbers is plus 2.4 plus 4. Point minus and so on then question number 96 next 97 as yes, 97 any doubts in this one 14 and 19 difference is 15 19 and 64 what is the difference tell me 45 and the next difference is so much 75 
what are these numbers 15 into 1 15 into 3 45 15 into 5 next one is 15 into 7 that is how much 105 139 plus 105 that will be the last digit how much is the answer here 244 choice 3 244 then question number 98 now 12 and 8 12 and 8 whenever the number decreases you should always go for what 12 into 0.5 is 6 and 6 plus 2 is so much 8 8 into 1 8 plus 2 10 and 10 into how much 10 into 1.5 is 15 plus 2 is 17 17 into 2 34 plus 2 36 and 36 into 2.5 what is 36 into 2.5 36 that is 72 72 plus 18 90 and 90 plus 2 92 is the answer 92 that is choice 2 question number 98 it is choice 2 then what about 99 99 7 17 37 77 now if you have there here the numbers are increasing at a very fast rate isn't it now 7 and 17 no yes yes now the numbers are increasing at a very fast rate 7 into 7 and 17 7 into 2 14 plus 3 17 17 into 2 34 plus 3 37 37 into 2 74 plus 3 77 and 77 into 2 154 plus 3 157 most of you have people have worked out through difference difference was the money difference of differential juice kundu pata isn't it now the numbers are increasing at a very fast rate me difference is in any method law japan you can work out in either of these two into two plus three are the difference next one difference will be how much 10 20 40 80 160 and so on then question number 100 now question number 100 16 18 what is the difference between these two 16 18 27 and 55 and 120 then what is the next number 16 plus 2 18 plus 9 27 plus how much 28 and the next one is how much 65 yes anyone now sir last year this question the same question with the same logic has been repeated at least in three of the examinations 2 9 28 65 these two can be written as 1 cube plus 1 and 8 can be 9 can be written as 2 cube plus 1 and this 28 can be written as 3 cube plus 1 27 plus 1 65 is what 4 cube plus 1 finally how much should be added here 5 cube plus 1 125 plus 1 126 126 plus 120 that is 246 choice 1 now this is about question numbers 9 to 96 to 100 in paper number 71